Hey, and welcome back to Building Needle Flip. Today we will mount the suction and the blowing uh, tubes and connectors. This is the suction box, and today we mount this part, which attaches here and allows for the cables to be going inside of the suction box and for the tube to suck out the air to connect to this. Today I will mount also the small nozzle, which will be mounted here and will give the pages an impulse to flip over. These parts are what I'm going to mount today. I have a bunch of holders for this tube, and these holders attach into a corner like, like this. And I have this type of holder here, which attaches from the top, and this type of holder which attaches inside a corner, but has uh, room for two tubes. One for suction and one for blowing. Also, this is the nozzle, this fits right in here. And this is the other adapter, it also fits. This is a 34 millimeter inside diameter tube. And I picked this dimension because it's the same dimension as the small air pumps that I will be using. So this saves two more printed parts because I don't need an adapter from the tube to the pump. Let's mark this. The lower tip of this is 96 millimeters from the bottom. The other value is 158 millimeters. Set up this wonderful American invention that is actually not, not that well known in Germany. I think I can't use this wonderful American invention here. I will use something else. And uh, let's move you over a bit. So you can see what I'm doing. reference line. Yep, that's the point. So this point now tells me that this thing sits exactly here. The exact positioning of this part doesn't matter. It can be up to five millimeters moved in any directions, I guess. Okay, this part goes here. That's the front of the suction box and that's the back of the suction box. And on this side, where also the flutter fan is mounted, this hose adapter is mounted as well. And I made a small template for all the holes that I need to drill. Let's see. Yes, this way it has to be. Let's center this roughly by eye, especially between those two screws. I don't want to hit them. And the next task is really, really scary because, uh, let me tell you a story. Uh, when I designed the suction box, I did not have a full concept in my mind of all the sucking and the blowing of the adapters. And in the beginning, I actually thought that I would connect the tubes to the back side of the suction box. But later on in, in the process, it turned out that I didn't have enough space for that anymore. So I decided to mount it to this surface, to the side of it. But at that point, the suction box was already assembled because of a uh, go fever. So I'm now left with the task of drilling these, hopefully without causing so many vibrations that the glass that is already in the suction box breaks. Maybe I should rotate this so that you can actually see the glass in the, in the camera. So if it breaks, you can actually see it's happening. I'm through. The glass didn't break. And minor amount of tear out on the back. I mean, some tear out was expected, but this is actually pretty good. Second hole. And I'm really scared. I hope nothing happens. Okay, yes, I am through. Let's take off the tape and see how bad the damage is. I put on some tape in the back to try to prevent some tear out. I'm not sure how successful that was, but I can pretend it was, yeah? Yeah, I think that was pretty successful at preventing tear out. I think this went better than expected. Let's mount this part, finally!
Great, the suction box can go back on the machine. Let's remove this small part to have easier access. The first tube is in. I want to put a generous amount of tube in the electronics compartment because I don't yet know how long I actually need it inside here because I haven't yet thought about how I will position all the necessary parts inside the electronics compartment. I just believe that it's ample space for the, the components. These screws are 4 by 16 I will use them for this. Time to mount the suction box. Okay. Let's figure out how long the tube has to be that we need. Let, let's move up and let's see how much we actually need to end up at our house adapter. Yes, this, this looks about good and let's move down and see how it behaves. Completely down. Yes. Okay. Let's try this one more time and go up. Yeah. It does not stick significantly over. That sounds good to me. Okay. Let's cut this. Please go a bit down. Okay. Let's cut this right here. Flip this over. What glorious moment in the history of this machine. Thanks for watching. Right now I have no clue what I am going to be doing in the next episode, but I'm sure that it will be released next Thursday, so stay tuned. And if you just made your way into this series, thanks for checking this out. This is just one part of a longer series, where I show all the steps necessary to make this page journey boost scanner.